Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Di and today I am bringing you the March Mystery Madness book tag. This was an original tag created by Elizabeth over at Lizzie Faye Loves Books and she's done it since March Mystery Madness started. So it's changed a little bit over the last three years but this is the first time that I'm actually doing the tag. I know, shame shame on me. Um, but yeah, I'm here to bring you this tag. This will be my second tag for the month. Um, so let's just get into it. The way this tag works is there are two prompts for every word in March Mystery Madness. So we're going to start with March and the first prompt is a book with green. So I chose A Vision of Murder. This is the third book in the Abby Cooper Psychic Eye Mystery Series by Victoria Laurie. Victoria Laurie um, wrote one of my most favorite series called the Ghost Hunter Mystery Series and I know you've heard me talk about it a lot in the past and if you have um, followed me on Instagram you've seen um, this book before but I haven't gotten very far into this particular series the third book is the next book that I need to read and as you can see I am <laughs> have a bookmark in it. I did start it um, right after I finished the second one and I read the second one for the Save Our Cozies Readathon in 2016. So it's been a while. I need to get back to this one but I really enjoy Victoria Laurie's writing and this one is about a psychic who helps investigate crimes. So that's that one. Then the next prompt is a book with Irish elements and for this one I chose the book of Killowen which is by Aaron Hart. This is the fourth book in the Nora Gavin um, series and I believe these are all set in modern day Ireland. So the first book in this series is called Haunted Ground and I read it a really long time ago and really enjoyed it but this one is about a pathologist, Nora Gavin, and in the first book she investigates a body that's found in a bog. So I thought that was really interesting. Really should be getting back into this series. At this point I should probably start from the beginning again since it's been so long. But yeah, this is my book with Irish elements. For mystery, the first prompt is a mystery that I loved. and. I decided to pick one that I read a long time ago that I don't think many people know about. The book is called Murder for Choir and it's the first book in the Glee Club mystery series by Joelle Charbonneau. Now most of you probably know Joelle Charbonneau from her series called The Testing. I have not yet read that series but I did read her Glee Club mystery series. There are three books in that series and I really enjoyed it. So I hope you go check those out sometime. The next prompt is a mystery that I'm anticipating and for this one I'm going to plug the book one Cozy's Club pick for April and so that book is Garage Sale Stalker by Susie Weinert. This is the first book in the Garage Sale Mystery series and this is also the series that the Hallmark movies, the Garage Sale Mystery movies, are based on. So please join us in reading Garage Sale Stalker in April for Book One Cozy's Club. Now for Madness, the first prompt is a book with a psychopath. And for this one, I chose The Lost Symbol by Dan Brown. I know a lot of people do not like Dan Brown's books, but I really enjoy them, and there is definitely a psychopath in this one. Kind of sad they didn't make this one into a movie. Um, it is a pretty long book, but I really enjoyed it nonetheless, as I've enjoyed all the other ones. So, this is my book with a psychopath in it. And then the other one for madness is sports or recreational activity a book with sports or recreational activity in it and Elizabeth said that for this one it didn't have to be a mystery 
And so I'm going to go ahead and go with a manga. And the manga I chose was Haikyuu. This manga is about volleyball. The volume I have here is volume 7, which is the volume that I am up to right now. My daughter has been hoarding the series in her room, so she only gives me the volumes that I um, am up to so that I can read them and then she can take them back. She really loves this series. I have really enjoyed the series. We've watched the anime at least twice now. Um, maybe even three times. I don't know. Super enjoyable series about volleyball. So yeah, this is my pick for the second prompt for uh, Madness. So yeah, that completes this tag. Now Elizabeth asked all of the hosts to tag a participant that um, may not have done this tag. All of the people that I was planning on tagging have already done this tag. Um, there might be one that hasn't done this tag. I'm pretty sure she hasn't done it. Lee! Lee! At Totally, you know who you are! I want you to go ahead and do this book tag. So the March Mitch Dream Madness book tag. Um, I don't know if you've done any other book tags. Have you? Anyway, I'm tagging you, Lee. So Lee at totally.net is the person I'm going to tag. If you haven't done this tag and would like to do so, I tag you as well. Please let me know if you do film this tag or create a blog post or Instagram about the tag. I would really love to see all of your pics for these prompts. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you're all doing great. And until next time, take care and smile always. Bye.